A reading from the Franciscan Book of Saints by Marion A. Habig, September 8th. Servant of God, Anaclet Gonzalez Flores, Martyr, Third Order. Anaclet Gonzalez was another of the modern martyrs who fought for Christ the King in Mexico, who suffered and shed his blood for him. He was born in Tepatilan in 1890 of unpretentious parents. Already as a law student, he challenged with Christian courage the godless sallies made by professors of the university in the course of their lectures. Then already he sensed the struggle that was bound to come. To meet it, he gathered a group of Catholic students about him, and with them he organized the Gironda, a society for the defense of Catholic interests. He himself joined the Third Order of St. Francis and strove to make himself worthy of the patron of Catholic action, in a way that no one else had yet done. He was especially concerned to place the press at the service of the Catholic interests. He founded a weekly paper called The Word, later another weekly called The Sword, and was a regular contributor to other Catholic publications. Since the government was hostile to the Church, it is not strange to learn that he was frequently thrown into prison. But this staunch tertiary and lay apostle bore everything with an unruled mind and continued his apostolate even behind the bars, giving instructions in Christian doctrine to his fellow prisoners and praying the rosary with them. Finally, he fell into the hands of Kale's minions. He was subjected to a gruesome martyrdom because he refused to reveal the whereabouts of his archbishop. He was stripped and hung by his thumbs then cruelly whipped. When he persevered in his silence, they pierced his feet and his entire body with daggers and knives. The only statement he made was to one of his executioners, I have labored unselfishly in order to defend the cause of Christ and his church. You will kill me, but know that the cause will not die with me. I go, but with the assurance that from heaven I shall behold the triumph of religion in my native country. Thereupon the soldiers pierced the breast of Anaclete with a bayonet. A volley of fourteen bullets put an end to his heroic life. He went forth to meet Christ the King on April 1st, 1927, at the same hour at which his divine master died. He left a widow and two young sons. His funeral was a venerable triumph march. No one shed any tears. Exultant shouts of, Viva Cristo Rey, long life, long life, Kit Christ, the King, gave evidence that all were prepared to tread the same path for Christ the King, as did the young hero and tertiary, Anaclete Gonzalez. Devotion to the Kingship of Christ The Kingship of Christ does not conflict with civil authority of the ver various governments of the world. Like King Herod, rulers and their Partisans sometimes fancy that Christ and his church wish to content, contest their authority. No. He who grants what is eternal will not take away what is temporal and perishable, as the church sings on the Feast of the Holy Innocents. It is foolish for worldly potentates to persecute the church, inasmuch as it is through the church that Christ wishes to dispense to society and to the individual the greatest graces for time and for eternity. In union with the Mexican martyrs, therefore, remain faithful, loyal, and grateful to the Church, notwithstanding the various trends of, that, of the time that are hostile to Christ. The kingship of Christ is a saving remedy against forgetting God. Pius XI writes, Annual celebration of the sacred mysteries is more effective in informing people about the faith and bringing to them the joys of the spiritual life than the solemn pronouncements of the teaching church. Documents are often read only by a few learned men. Feasts move and teach all the faithful. The former speak but once, the latter every year and forever. The former bring a saving touch to the intellect. The latter influence not only the mind, but the heart and man's whole nature. With a grateful heart then, celebrate the feast of Christ the King and let it strengthen the faith that is in you. The kingdom of Christ is strength for the faithful. 
what gave the Mexican martyrs such strength that they could sacrifice everything, position, property, parents, family, body, and life? It was the thought, all for Christ the King, to whom is given all power in heaven and on earth. Relying upon this regal strength, they spoke with the Maccabees. The King of the world will raise us up, who die for the law, laws and the resurrection of eternal life. Hold fast to Christ, the Almighty King. Be zealous for him and his rights according to the example of Anacleto Gonzalez, especially in promoting the Catholic press. Prayer of the Church. Eternal God, creator of all things, assist us with thy all-powerful grace, that we who boast of battling under the banner of Christ the King may triumph gloriously with him in the kingdom of heaven, who livest and reignest forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you and have mercy upon you. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his peace. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pax Bonum.